It's about 7 to 8 in the morning here, JW Solar USA in Minnesota. And um, this um, power bank or portable generator here, it has been running since 5.30 or 17.30 hours yesterday. Powering the uh, refrigerator, two refrigerators, uh, full size, you guys have seen them. And um, all night, and um, right now, both of that thing, they're kicking, and um, it has about um, 17 amps taken, and the solar, check this out, the solar is bringing 8.9, just into 8.8, .8, and uh, almost 70 watts. Um, this life bo 4 batteries, lithium ion phosphate, 1860, 18650 batteries is still with the BMS. They have a BMS on it. I was, I was hoping, or I was thinking that, um, this system is going to shut down overnight while I was sleeping. So my wife and I just had the, um, the free, uh, the fridge, the boot fridge. Let me show you the fridge. This guy tall. And the freezer is down here. Let's see. So they're running. This guy over here, all the way down, is running. You can see the light. Here are the stuff from the top freezer. They just have a opposite thing. The other one, the freezer up here is downstairs, like the big door. And uh big door is up. So both are running, but it cannot keep up. The uh, solar can keep up because it's still pulling negative 16 amps. So remember, those are just two 50 watt solar panels. So flexible solar panels. And you guys have seen them yesterday. And uh, this is the watt. It's bringing right now five amps to compensate. And um, bringing 60 to 70 watts, 71 watts coming in. So, so far so good guys. I'm gonna be working on um, bringing in the solar. I still have these connectors here, which is um, a wire twist and this or like a bridge connector. Uh, I don't know how it's called. And um, what I'm gonna do, like I mentioned yesterday, I, sh I showed you, I've shown you guys the parts yesterday. I'm gonna use these guys here and I'm gonna drill a hole and put it right here and put a hole on the other side here, maybe cl close to each other. I'm gonna do that. Then it's gonna come in to this breaker. It's gonna come into this breaker. The positive is only the one that is gonna be tied into. Um, that's This side is gonna be the line. Look at it here. You have to follow um, the instruction can go uh, reverse. On the other side, it says a battery. See, BAT, you know, or it says line. So it comes in here, and the aux, which is aux, A-U-X, auxiliary. And uh, you see that? And it's going to be the load. You see, L-O-A-D. So this one is going to go this way. So just like having the battery connected, where well, it's like a battery, which the solar comes in here, which is the input, and the output goes to the charge controller. We're gonna tie it into the positive. I'm gonna put a, um, a terminal. I'm gonna use a, use a terminal ring to connect to this guy here. And this other side that comes from the solar is gonna come here. The black's gonna still connected this way, so maybe I'm gonna just solder that or shrink wrap it. After sorry, shrink wrap it, or I'm gonna use leave this guy there. It's a strong connector. So, and um, now we can able to have on and off disconnect, but I don't want this wire to be over the the top lead because the lead is gonna be coming up. Okay, so by putting them in here with these guys here. And always remember to have one of these that how to disconnect the solar panels. That's the 
like a wrench for it so you can push them you can push it this way and it can help you to twist you have them too it's like a tool so you can just you know and tie it up this one I'm gonna hold the side you're gonna stick this guy here see just like this you can have this guy here sorry I'm using one hand and uh, this other guy right here goes here and hold it right here you know and keep on walking it to so tighten it up because it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of tough for other people who doesn't have those tough hands and whatever so it's easier so um the other improvement i i made yesterday um i mentioned that to you all the tools i outlined um on the project Ta -da! look at them i installed them okay so the positive goes here and the negative is here if you want to jump your car or you want to do um uh, something else you can parallel this box if you have something the same design or the same batteries because i have 36 modules in here and you will see the batteries on the end screen of the video they kind of use the panasonic or just go to panasonic something see 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 something battery hookup and you can see how i did everything so this guy is not hooked up here to this boss i'm gonna hook it up to this boss so anytime i power down the system by this guy or maybe overload this guy would trip i have a 100 amp in here because the inverter i'm using is not um it's just a thousand watt so <clears throat> magnum which is here okay I'm not expecting this thing to do a lot of stuff. And uh, it can it can do a lot of stuff. But see, this is where I place my output, my, out, my AC output. It can do a lot of stuff, but I'm not trying to drag it to hell. Like other people probably trying to abuse things. I don't do that kind of stuff. I let things work, not to destroy things, you know. Because it's a lot of money that is already... Uh, embedded into this one old project here so don't just destroy things because you feel like i like to put things on test or st stress just see the max what is capable of doing and what is not capable of doing then i will just give you the the pros and cons that you know this is what we max or this is what you ca i can do and i know my limits that's the word i was looking for i know my limits when it comes to uh, anything I'm doing likewise all of you guys know your limits but some people like to push the limits to more than the limits to the extreme which is not good even machines can get stressed too so unless you, um, you don't care and um, you just want to burn things out that, that's fine that's all part of um, science and technology so and uh, you can able to see other people like to see the um, the hopeful part of it. Some people don't because of the money that they already invested on. Some people, it's fun, it's sports, it's a hobby for them to do. Well, you can watch one of my videos. I blew a fuse um, just to do a Mac uh, test um, on my system to react in case of um, anything happen on the 48 volts. The fuse can be blown and you can watch the other video a couple days ago where um, arcing the batteries and you see things you should do and you, sh you shouldn't do uh, we use precaution by using this guy right here it's a breaker or a quick disconnect safety disconnect and I've done that video as well so a lot of people were worried and um, I have to make sure that uh, let them know it's just a test and uh, and it works okay nothing happened and uh, we're still safe but even though you want to do this kind of test make sure you're gonna be um, safe you know what you're doing or else it can cause a lot of trouble it can cause lives it can cause uh, property and you don't want that okay be careful safety as long as you know what you're doing like and subscribe JW Solar USA live in Minnesota. So this is the progress I've done.